have our first slicing. Permission to come aboard, sir. No, mate. Who's going to go? At least some of that cancer smoke's dissipated. <laughs> Quick update for your viewers: What have you been doing since our last meeting? Say two or three um, months. Getting cold and wet. Oh. I don't know. We're, we're, we've been very lucky with the weather, haven't we? It's been a great summer, hasn't it? A uh, bit, bit too hot. Well, it was getting to like 14, mm. but that was uh, quite hard work. But uh, uh, the last few weeks, it's not been too bad at all. Oh, it's good. I wish it was so cool right down again, well. well I did have a ground frost there this morning. I woke up open the curtains, there's a ground frost on, on, on the trees there. Tree God, I'm going to cut you off there. That was a great summary. That's what Richard Hewitt's been up to. Follow him on... Uh, his channel up there Might as well shut the video down now. There's gonna be nothing else happening at all today So that's uh, yeah subscribe to me there something random there Missed a riveting anecdote about how the reason I had to get Richard some milk today is he went to the shop yesterday came back put the kettle on no milk and uh, But 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 he spent about eight times longer <laughs> oh, I did buy some cakes. Oh no! Well, I'm I'm gonna be nice to him now until I've eaten some cake, and then and then I'll, I'll eat them all now. Oh god! Yeah, I couldn't tell just by looking at you that you're the type of bloke that can stuff down a load of cakes. I like the cake. We're live on Socks with Sandals News, and <clears throat> Richard Hewitt has just confessed that he likes cake. Nice when someone phones him and he's yeah. listening so I don't have to hear him talk. It's just lovely. Like, it's like a one-year-old baby being asleep. Oh, oh, luxury. What? Mm, do, you want, do you want to smell my healed toe? No. Uh, mm. <laughs> Good girl. Mm. I bet that was cleared two years ago. What, that window? You cleared it? <laughs> no, I don't know. Those trees. I don't know whether that's just cancer juice on the inside or... Uh, I'll, get, I'll get a few from the outside. My van is disgusting at that, coming down this... Oh, disgusting. Coming down this road. Yeah? Um, so, the other day, the last time I was there, they were putting the sugar beets up for the field, mm -hmm. and there were tracks and trailers coming out continually. It was a, a constant flow, dragging oh. all the dirt from the field. Just go to the kitchen, put the kettle on, make a cup of tea. You'll still be on the same story by the time you come back. Yeah? D dragging all the... Uh, the, the mud from the field, shot into the road, going past it down to the farm, and then had all this rain, and you turn it into a, a watery, mucky mess, isn't it? I like that because um, then you get more sliding and you get to exercise more skilled car control, especially if you're living on the edge of a Dijon. Thumbnail there, just get a cup of tea. Uh, scruffy and Richard doing something more interesting than ignoring me. Yeah, yes. And what Cozy. software do you use for video editing? On the phone, this is actually an inter interesting subject, possibly for you watching. Oh no, bad hair day strikes. Uh, yeah, uh, on the phone, I use. 
power director free obviously mm. if i'm on a pc or laptop i'll use windows movie maker free obviously uh, well, yeah. and if i'm on a mac or macbook or ipad whatever i use iMovie free I, but iMovie has green screen multi-layer sound double layer so you've got like your you you can you you can have your main plot and your B-roll all syncing up. Wonderful. I like I like iMovie. Um, I don't understand any of that. I choose a VN, it's called, I guess. Mm. It's just a, a free. I mean, I've actually tried a couple of those. Yeah. I could not get on with them, or I might pick a wheel. Now, I see, you notice, he asked me for my advice, but he won't take it. He won't take it, he, even though he's seen the the video, the style of videos I produce, he, he, he won't, he won't, he, he just stick with that one, and that'll be the <laughs> end of the matter. You don't go straight to it, almost my eyes closed. Yeah, because the, the, what, what we're dealing with here is a, a stubborn old goat. A, a simpleton, basically. Well, I didn't want to say anything, but uh, I wouldn't wish to disagree with you on that point. I'm still just getting into computers. Wow. I'm trying to understand them. God, they're only invented in, like, 1943. <laughs> you know, is not a political culture vulture, has just made a shocking discovery. Richard? Uh, um, I do actually lean towards the tours. Uh, um, that wasn't what you said earlier. You, but, you've observed something in reality. No, but, but you said I'm not political. I'm political to a certain point. I've always been a toy in my life. Yeah, OK. But but now, um, I won't be voting. You won't be voting. That wasn't how you put it um, earlier, you see. Now he's changed because, the subject. Because... He... Sit up and listen. Oh, my God. Because the government have buggered things up this time, they shouldn't have got rid of Boris... And the other woman, you know, this, um... Theresa May? No, no. This trust. This trust. Which I thought she looked strong. But she turned up weak in the first couple of weeks, didn't she? She did more U-turns than your Persia partner. Yeah, without even putting the handbrake on. <laughs> she, she just crashed and bounced around, yeah. No, it's wishy bloke. I've got nothing against oh, him being there. wishy, washy. God. I've got nothing against him being there. It's got nothing to do with me. If anybody's wishes of me, I, it don't bother me. Do you uh, have anything I'm, I'm, against I'm not jealous anything like against that. him being Indian? No, we've got no... No. Leading to, like, so like, why like, is like, Rishi Sunak a twat then, Richard? Because he's, uh, he's stopping a lot of the bits, isn't he? He's, uh, there's a lot of laws that are going to change mm. back to in, uh, proper... English laws. Uh, I prefer the term United Kingdom. Okay, United Kingdom. Like, we could, um, at certain towns in this country, we could sh shoot with an arrow certain French people. <sighs> but they wouldn't change that law, didn't they? Just, so you couldn't do that anymore. But a lot of EU laws. There you go, that's Brexit but in a nutshell, went. explained by Richard Hewitt. In case you were confused or you think you might have voted the wrong way, <laughs> that's the right you voted for was to use arrows against French spies. In which century? But <laughs> <laughs> you uh, will be mad with them for a minute. No, my God. I would not want to be hated by Richard Hewitt for a difference of opinion. <laughs> this, this this injectard here, I would not wish for him to disagree with me. Everybody's got an opinion. Yeah. He's been able to say it. Yeah. So why are you an injectard, Richard Hewitt? Great. It seemed like a good idea at the time. Wow. At the time there you happened. go. That's science. You can't argue with that. The scientists told us. The scientists told us. Yeah? It was a good idea. That's, that's two scientists told us. No, 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 I'm going to tell you. No, we're lining them up. Ah. What happened to scientists and doctors that happened to disagree with um, the violation of the well, Nuremberg Code? Send them to the U the European Union. Yeah, they can have them. We uh, don't want them there. You don't want scientists that disagree with Nuremberg Code violating injections. No, we weren't violated. We were told no one 
was told they've got to have it. You're told you you can't you can't see your uh, visit your old people old people you can't be, you can't you can't go abroad some people couldn't even go to work you got to them because they didn't want the job if they want injection they had to lose their job that's up to them yeah co coercion is unlawful under the Nuremberg Code I, I got article, a job. article one of the Nuremberg Code and why were the Nazis hanged at Nuremberg for coercing um people against their will to take unlawful to take medical procedures that they couldn't refuse at the time of it happening mm. it seemed like the best way around it to get rid of the covid mm. but we now know the covid um, bit iffy. Yeah, do you think it was actually a real virus that existed? I don't know now. At one time I, I mm. said yes, straight, yeah, yes, me straight, yes, but now, but now, um, yeah, I'm, what I'm was, on the fence. yeah, was that even Richard Hewitt, who got injected out of fear of catching the virus, yeah. is wondering whether it even existed, right? That's that's, oh, I can change my mind, can't I? You're allowed to. Yeah, that's the beautiful thing about evidence um, and why people like me have to go to ridiculous lengths to get around the nonsense and propaganda of mainstream media to help people like Richard Hewitt. Obviously, we fail to warn people like Richard Hewitt. What about the first week of it looking really serious? Oh, yeah, I, to I totally believed it. Hook, line, a sinker. Oh, yeah. Yeah, totally believed no, did you, you it. Totally believed it. Totally believed it. I didn't smell a rat until the second just two weeks, and I was thinking, oh. I've only got six grand in the bank. You bet you know what you do No, no, this is my predicament, where I thought, I'm rent I'm renting a place near London for 500 a month. I've got six grand in the bank. That was depleting and depleting away. And by the time the second two weeks came, another rent was due, and I'm yeah. thinking... If they prolong this for a year, which they did, I'll be out the money. So I thought, why don't I just get a van and bugger off and ignore every single regulation? Not law, regulation, unenforceable regulation, including police begging at roadside for being more than five kilometres from your designated area or commute. <laughs> They Unfortunately, did. I didn't mm. have to go through that part of it. No. I went through the second lockdown, but things were a bit more clear. <sighs> yeah. So do you, but, th do you think the injectoids are gradually figuring out, or do they still hate the purebloods for how we completely, with gay abandon, violated every single nonsense uh, well, regulation? Me having an injection, injection has not affected me in any way. But how was it infected? How was it uh, affecting my health? Hasn't it? Well, I, I suggest you get a CAT scan and uh, check how clogged your arteries are. And uh, let, but, let's uh, at that uh, point, uh, anyway. let's cut to um, a little clip from a film. Link below from oh. Rumble about what happens to people that get injected, whether they die or not, and what they die from. Somebody mentioned to go on to Google and go into the news section and then type in died suddenly and lo and behold here's a whole listing of people of articles of people within the, that last week who died suddenly older people but a lot of younger people throughout around the world and then you find out they were vaccinated i want people to understand that we're in a fifth generation warfare Goodbye.